Good morning everyone, welcome to another video and welcome back to the van. Now this is episode two of moving into the van and as you can see behind me, things have changed quite a bit since you last saw the van. Um, let me talk you through those quickly and then we're going to be moving on to actually fitting the mattress today. But first things first, you can see I've got my long curtain up here so I've just tucked it behind for now but this actually goes the full length of the van. You may have seen it in a previous video of when I fitted them but anyway this is the overall look from the back of the van so I can be sleeping in there, no one's going to know any different. These are also thermal and blackout blinds so they're really good and I'm looking forward to using them in the winter time but at the moment it's beautiful and sunny and we've got the summer ahead of us so I shouldn't need them. <laughs> anyway let's move those out of the way. Up behind me on this side I've got a couple of hooks and some baskets which are going to be like for my bedside items so like a book, phone, reading glasses, anything I need by my bedside really. So there's two there and I need to fit another two on this side. The hooks are from home base and the hanging basket bags are from Amazon and I can link them down below if you're interested. The curtains are from Dunelm. So again, if you're interested in them, I can link them down below. They've got a beautiful mandala design on them, which I thought was really lovely. So moving on, let's move the curtain back out of the way. Now you can see that I've got this rather rather nifty board and this is to separate the mattress and the end of the bedding from the garage area because I personally don't like seeing the end of the bed where it's all messy and also it will stop my little chihuahua Monty from falling out this end because he has done that almost a few times now. So it's a safety rail for him so that he doesn't fall out and also anything of like pillows or bedding doesn't also fall out when you open the back doors. So that's another tip. And it's three pieces of cap cladding put together. I've just glued them together. And then on the inside is a timber which I screwed with metal fixings to the pillars. And then I've just panel pinned to the end of the slats of the bed, which I can show you in a minute. And then again, just pinned it to both sides of the van itself. Underneath here, I've just got a curtain rail, again from home base, with some shower hooks. And this is a shower curtain that I've cut down for size, so that again, this garage area is hidden away from view. And I've got all of this space, space now for storage, and I've got my diesel heater and some more storage at the back there. I've got all my piping boxing, which Mel did previously. If you want to go and check out what has been done underneath here, then I will link a playlist up above so that you can go and check all that's happened previously out. Here is my gas locker as well. So everything is contained within itself. And then I've got a board here, which reveals my water tank with my level so that if I need to check how much water I've got in the tank, I can just check that. I just put that board back to protect that cable and that piping from getting squished. So this is the entirety of the back of the van. As you can see, it's nice and empty because I haven't moved everything in yet, but I'm just gonna bring you closer so you can see a bit more in depth. And then we will go inside and I will show you the kickboard from the inside as well. Here is a closer view of the back then now. So as I said, this is my gas locker in here. That's my board to show my water tank. This is the back end of my internal storage, which you access from the main body of the van. Down here is my plumbing for my diesel heater all plumbed in. I've got a long length of space here. So should I want to put anything long, I've got that to go all the way back up to the bo bottom there. The top of this boxing of the cables means that I've got all of this space up at the back here to put stuff. 
This is just temporary at the moment, it's not going to stay. So I've got a little tool bag, some mastic sealant strip and my funnel for filling in my diesel tank. This is great, this again is from home base and it's just an oil jug with a sort of folding spout. You can kind of curve it and point it into filling up the tank there. So that's my diesel heater there. And then this curtain, like I said, is just on some clear rings with some eyelets and it's a shower curtain from home base and I've just cut it off I just need to hem it but it means that it doesn't matter if it gets wet it can just go straight across like so and all I did was screw it straight into the side of the van making sure there wasn't any cables in the way or anything but yeah just some self-tapping metal screws so that I can pull it right to the edge and you don't see what's in the back. I like a nice clean and just minimalist look because then if you've got the back doors open you're lounging in your bed area during the day people can't walk past and see what you've got in. I mean it might bother some people it might not but for me I just like it so that people just don't accidentally see what you've got in the back. I mean, it could be that there's nothing, but that's a personal preference of mine. Haven't yet decided what I'm gonna do with the back doors, so they're still plain, they're just painted. Again, you're always working on a van, so there's always projects and things that you can add to. So what we'll do now is take you into the bedroom area and I will talk you through the next process. So we're climbing in from the cab today because unfortunately my door has jammed, my side door. So I'm waiting for Mel to come and give me a hand so that I can unlock my door. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna climb through because I've got my little bench here, which is really cool. And all I do is, let me show you. I just climb through like so. And I'm in the main body of the van, which I love because it means that if I need to ever get through to the cab, I just hop over here. We're back to the back of the bed here because I was going to show you how I fitted the end kickboard and that was a piece of timber just um, self tapered into the pillar on both sides. There we go, both sides. And then just panel pinned into the end of each of these slats so it doesn't move. I mean, a little bit of flexibility there in with it, but it works and it makes it separate. So we're now going to measure the width across the van and the length, and we're gonna go up, upstairs to the lounge, there we go. And we are going to cut my mattress. So let's get Mel in here. Okay, so that exact measurement, I make it 170 in the middle. 170 in the front. 170 <laughs> in the back, in the middle. And yeah, then I need to do 170. And then I need to check that it's 170 at the back as well, really, don't I? Or yeah, not? Yeah. I'll show you in a bit. So that's 170 centimetres. <sighs> Oop! I'll put my special tape measure. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, 170. Yeah. Okay. Check you out, nice and square. Some things I did manage to do square, believe it or not. 132. 134. What was it this size? 132. <laughs> How'd you manage that? I don't know. Do it 134, do it the biggest because it's, it's a mattress, mattresses squish. Yeah. Okay. So, for those people that asked what size bed this is, it's 170 by 134, so it's very tiny. I think we might have to cut our legs off to get in here. 
Right, let's go get it cut, shall we? Yeah, off yeah. we go. See you in a bit. So these are the mattresses. You get two, you get the top layer and then you get the two mid layers. Now, from what I remember, you get six sections so that you or your partner can have it exactly tailored to what you want, depending on how you sleep. It's organic cotton, it's organic wool, natural latex, 100% organic, and it is unaorganic.com. Now, I'm not kidding, these mattresses are expensive, but you get what you pay for. I've had my own single mattress in my room for coming up to five years now. Absolutely perfect and it is completely safe if you have allergies. It's completely natural and it will biodegrade over 10 years. Now it does say on the website that you should have your mattress about five years, but I've already had mine coming up to five years and it's brilliant. So Monty's just come to join us. He's wanting to investigate now that things are happening. We're gonna get these boxes open and um, show you what's inside. So we're just going to let that flop for a minute. So those are the three main layers. Okay. That is the mattress case. So because these mattresses come in layers, so that you can multi-change the layer system of them, you get a case that is 100% organic cotton as well. And a lot of the um, packaging is all recycled as well, so it's good. But we'll show you that in a minute. There we have it, those two sections. One box comes with your mattress cover and the medium layer. And this is 135 by 190 by 18 centimetre. So this is a double. I am going to have to cut it down anyway to fit the van, but that's just to show you that. That's the item code number. And this is all of the organic certification. So this is what you do is you open it out of the box, you unroll it, you zip it into the case, and then you can lie instantly on it. There's no smell, no odor. I will never go back to having a normal mattress again. Since having this, I mean, it's just changed the way I sleep. I don't get allergy issues anymore. It's biodegradable. It's good for the environment. Yes, you pay a little bit more for it, but it actually lasts you longer than a standard mattress because whenever I bought spring-loaded mattresses or hybrid mattresses, they would just give out after a while and you'd then have to dispose of it by giving it to the dump or selling it on, whereas this, it will degrade. It just completely degrade down and you can just recycle it with your normal garden and vegetable waste, which is amazing. Here we go, this says that this is the soft layer so this again is the same size for a double and this is the soft top layer so you can combine what you want to make your bed into and the baby is born Whew. right let's get this one and wrap it too so like i said these are all protective casings the mattress doesn't stay in this layer like this this is just protected so that it stays clean. So that's one. So that's the two medium layers. So let me show you in closer depth. So this is the top layer, which is the soft layer, but it is in the double width, if that makes sense. Then underneath that, 
is the that is the medium layer, so it's green saying medium. So you basically choose the the way in which that you want the comfort of your mattress just by layering. So there we go, we're gonna take some sections down and see what happens. Look at that. <laughs> so this is the bed laid out on the floor. We've got the sections of the first layer. So we're going to measure and cut down this first layer and then go and try it in the, in the van before we get any further. Okay, so the bed has actually been resting for 24 hours so that it expands and makes sure that it's a full size. We've just cut the outer cover open to expose the latex and we've just very carefully measured both sides to make sure that we get what we need to cut off accurate. Latex is a bit funny, it kind of changes shape, so we've just had to do two lines because we get the first one wrong. Anyway, we've got our knife from the barbecue section at home base. <laughs> we've got some backup blades just in case, and we're gonna start and cut along this line very carefully. And then we're gonna take it down to the van and check it for size before we do any more of the other layers. So let's get cutting. Is it sharp? It seems to be. I spotted that big long knife. Yeah. And I was like, oh, look, that might be. Oh. Is it cut? Bloody hell, yeah, that's good. Is it easier? Yeah. Okay, maybe the knife was maybe a waste the, of money. No, 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 no. <laughs> the knife is good because it gets a nice clean cut and then you can go through after go down after it and cut it okay. down below as well. You just follow those holes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Just have to make sure you cut as straight as possible, but because it's, it's foam, like latex, it just bounces back anyway. Which is a bit annoying. So there we go, that's our spare bit. <laughs> I can make some cushions for my bench seat oh, and yeah. do the offcuts. You could do. Yeah. I already had that plan. Oh. <laughs> so let's go take this down to the van and check it out before we do anything else. There's the van down there. There's my van next to it. Oh. Let's go and see if it fits. See if Rebecca's measured it right. I have nothing to do with the measurements of this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got the mattress down, or at least the first section. Is it going to fit? We shall see. So, we've cut it for width first. I thought that was length. Length. <laughs> it's confusing, isn't it? I guess with the van, that it's like it's almost square, isn't it? There's yeah. there isn't really a long and a short. That was my foot not farting. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Just gonna tuck that under. Dun dun dun. Yeah, that fits all right, doesn't it? That fits perfect. I think that was worth cutting it a little bit longer. Yeah. yeah. It's perfect. So it's. Yeah, there's manoeuvrability to be able to get a sheet round, so that's good because you can get your hands down. Ow, I just stabbed my hand. Right, so now we need to work out the difference from the mattress up until the kickboard. And that is, I think, 61. Yeah. Do you think 61? Yeah, you want it a little bit more, don't you? So it's tight. I can't see. What's that? 61, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's nice 60, and tight. So 61, yeah, 24 inches. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go 24. So it's it's it, got a nice... It gives, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. you don't want to fill the gap. No, no, you want it to be stuffed up yeah. to get against each other. So 24 by 170. Yep. Okay, let's go do that. We'll be back in a bit. Okay, so we've now cut the second half of the first layer. We're just going to get it into place. So just gonna adjust the cover a bit because you had to take this off to cut it. Let's see if this fits. Dun, dun, dun. 
Okay. Is it snug? It's snug. Oh. Looks too long. It's a bit long. Let's get up and see. So it was longer. Oh yeah, look at it. That's strange. Either that or the van also tapers. No, not that no? much. Okay, well I'll have to get. So the when we measured down. it, yeah, originally, it looked like we were going to have to cut more off. Yeah. So we decided to cut the same off as, as the other the first one. piece. Yeah. So that must have been longer then, unless it's just. I don't know. I don't know. Is it a different measurement? No. It it fits nicely on the width. The width is brilliant because that's nice and tight. But yeah, I'm gonna have to cut off. How much do you reckon? That's it. <laughs> We're gonna need to cut all of the rest now. And I'll get the scissors and cut that down here. Because I don't want to keep cut, bringing okay. it up and down. I want to cut it in place here. So I don't take too yeah, much off. Yeah, probably the right idea then. Cut it in situ. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to go and get the scissors? Um, it depends what time it is. Because. Five o'clock. Yeah, I probably need to wrap everything up and okay. go. Yeah. So we'll see you in the morning when we resume the bed fitting. Well, good morning. We had an eventful day yesterday. And so I'm back in the van. I've just cut my next top layer ready to go in. And even though we measured it, this section seems to be longer. So I'm just going to snip that off and get that fitted and then I've already pre-cut this one which is the soft layer this one's the medium layer so this one goes on the bottom this one's going to go on top of this one on this front side so all I've done is cut off the width which is 170 centimeters and then I'll go up and cut the fourth section which is still upstairs in the lounge and bring that down for this back section and this is the one that always has two cuts, length and width. Whereas this section is the full width, but I've just cut it for length, which makes it easier. So I'm going to get and do that. I'm going to pop you on the side so you can watch while I'm doing it. And then in a few minutes, you'll actually see the completed article and I'll get all the bed made up and you can see the finished article. Fingers crossed, I can actually move into the van tonight and have my very first sleep. I will do a video all about that as well. So don't forget to keep watching, sign up to the channel and you will get to experience my very first night in the van. And I am so excited to try it. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a really fun evening vlog kind of video instead. So it's gonna be a little bit different, but I hope that you'll tune in to watch that video and that will be coming up very soon. Cause as I said, I'm hoping I can move into the van tonight and get it all feeling like a home rather than a building site. So anyway, I'm gonna get cracking on and I will see you in a moment. Oh, I can't tell you how soft this is compared to me constantly lying on these slats. It really hurts your knees, so this is a welcome relief. Right, so I've just cut, drawn a line down, measured top, middle, bottom. And we're just going to cut that off. It's really hard to cut latex visually because all the holes keep changing position. So worst case scenario, and I need to cut an extra bit and put it back in, we can do that got a super pair, strong pair of craft scissors. These are by Fish Cars. And these are amazing for cutting this density. I bought a knife, like I said in the video yesterday, but it wasn't working at all. These, bloody brilliant. simply cutting along the line, do the top bit first and then go down and do the deeper sections. As you can see, so I'm cutting along the line, doing the top bit first and then you go in deeper and you get rid of the lower level. 
this is by far the easiest method that I have tried. There we go, so I'm going to continue following that line and I will show you again in a minute. Like I said, some people might find that what I've spent on this mattress a bit extortionate, but you know what? I think when you're living in a van full time and this is actually your home, I think it's best to indulge in a good mattress and because you spend so much time sleeping and it's so important for your health as well. If you don't sleep properly, you just start to lose good health and just you don't enjoy your life so much because you're always tired or you've got aches and pains so in guess again because of my background in holistic health and all of the studying that i've done over the years it's so important to have a good mattress so i've splurged on this this is one of the most expensive things i've bought for the van apart from the van and it was one of the things I was most insistent on. I wanted to have a natural mattress because I suffer from breathing problems. I also suffer from, or I have suffered in the past from skin allergies. I'm very sensitive to certain things. And whenever I used to have a normal conventional mattress, which was a spring-loaded mattress or anything that kind of got dust in it or synthetic fibres with lots of chemicals made inside it, I would just sleep really badly and I'd have lots of breathing problems and also the springs went after like two years of having the mattress so this will just degrade it has a five-year life guarantee on it and after that it just does degrade so you haven't also got to dispose of it in landfill which I really don't like I mean sometimes you have to do these things but we all want to try and do our bit to try and help reduce waste and also the other bon bonus is that because it's so multifunctional and small sections if I ever need to take this out for any reason I can just take it out bit by bit and not struggle like Paul Mel has had to when he's wanted to get his mattress out it's a massive big weight it's a huge lump to try and move all by yourself whereas this I can just take it section by section out and move it around like a jigsaw puzzle so there are many factors to it, but obviously everyone has their own options and choices and I'm not, you know, quabbling anyone that wants to do something different. This is just my personal preference and I wanted to share it with you guys, just in case it's something that interests you. So I'm going to carry on. We'll catch up in a bit. That's a nice chunky bit. Any old iron to you too, any old iron. Right, that's perfect for the back there. I just need to cut this little section out here. Corner cut. Again, I'm just doing it roughly at the moment just to see how it fits because I don't want to do it too much. So I've just taken the corner off like so, very mild, but just a semicircle. And you just, you don't poke it down really hard, but just let it settle so it's level. And a other thing with latex or memory foam is that it will form around the shape. So I'm happy with that. And it's just nicely tight. So, you know, you can kind of get it up easily and it's, you have to push it in shape, but I prefer that than it being floppy. So I'm happy with that now. Right, let's get the cover put back on and we will get the next section in. I'm tacking it over as well so it's kind of creating a little bit of a pillowcase pocket. You could sew it up and I may well do when I've got a spare minute but um, just for today and for the purposes of the video I'm not going to do that on camera. 
You don't need to see that, it's a bit boring. Right, the rain has come on. I've battened down the hatches, put the lights on, and we're gonna carry on, true van lifestyle. Because when the rain comes, as long as it's not like structural stuff, you can pretty much carry on out. You can pretty much carry on doing what you need to do. And especially this job, I don't need to be outside, so it's okay. Just make, gonna make sure that I don't get the mattress wet because I'm a bit fussy when it comes to things like that. Come in and shut the door. It's a bit wet out there. Yeah, I've just shut all the doors. I'm just filming. I've just oh, cut sorry. that down. Oh, you cut it down? Yeah. And I'm just gonna check this next one now. That's what I was editing a video. I didn't realise he was working on your thing. That's all right. I want you, you? No, he's up in the house oh. for now. There we go. That's the next one. This is Monty's first moments on the bed. Do you like it, Papa? Yeah, I've been getting used to it. Yeah, you're not sure. Is it nice? He can look out and be in comfort. He seems okay. I think it's a thumbs up from Monty. Yeah?